at, she loves this water. I think it's absolutely amazing. Just look at her in there. She just absolutely loves it. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. And as you can see, we have Daisy out. So today we're gonna be cleaning the big pythons. I'm gonna continue to have Noah kind of being tutored to handling the big snakes. So go check out his channel. It's gonna be an entire vlog on him handling these big snakes. We're gonna get Lucy in a soak a little bit because she needs some stuff. But, oh my gosh, Daisy is an amazing animal. But she sure is heavy. So oh, let's go ahead and just get right into this. So Noah's been handling Daisy and uh, she had a little bit of an accident on his shoes, as you can see. I'd say just a little bit, oh, nothing that's, major. That's Lori is in the house. Lori is the true professional. She's been wrangling big snakes for like 25 years. So Lori, is oh. you happy to be back at it? Always my favorite. Why'd you put her through my legs? I didn't do that, she did it. Oh, my arm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's wrapped up. Good thing I'm sweating. It's okay. like, just like a three person. There you go. Kelsey's got her on that side. Lori's got her in the middle. Noah, well, I think Daisy actually has Noah. I don't think Noah has Daisy. Oh man. Good thing I'm sweaty because she's slipping. <laughs> the good news is, is I'm gonna be honest, this is the easiest I've ever handled Daisy in my entire life. Look at how long she is. I mean, look at that. She's getting over there. Oh my God, that is crazy. Look at her tail is still all the way over here. Oh and there, there she is right over there. Holy cow. So Daisy's been pretty easy. I'm gonna be honest with you. Lucy destroyed her cage. You guys know that I was traveling last week. So uh, over the weekend, she destroyed her cage. So we gotta clean her up. I'm hoping she's in a better mood. But again, we're gonna try to get her in the water so that she soaks a little bit. Typically, Lucy likes water. So hopefully she's gonna be in a good mood. I have no idea what's gonna happen. We have Lucy out and you can see she's got some shed on her. So what I'm hoping to do is get her in the water she typically likes water and you guys remember that she was really cranky just before she laid her eggs and then right after she laid her eggs she was even more cranky but today she seems to be in a pretty good mood so I think so far we're in good shape so we're just gonna try to get her in the water and whew, and hopefully she'll love a little bath. Wanna jump in here Noah? Uh, I'll do the back end, not the... All right, well, jump in. All you right. can see, I mean, look at how amazing she is. And now she ate a really big meal about a week and a half ago, and she definitely passed those rabbits all over the cage. That's the problem with feeding big snakes like Lucy, is that uh, they definitely go to the bathroom, and it's not very good. It's like the size of an elephant or something like that. But I love the fact that she's starting to calm back down, starting to act more like the Lucy that I used to know, even though she's always a little bit in tankers. She's just really good. And you can see the way she's moving, she's not essing up, she seems to be really good. She seems to be in a really good mood, which is absolutely incredible. I love this girl so much. And we're probably maybe, I don't know, 40, 45 days away from her babies hatching. So I cannot wait. I know a lot of you guys have been interested, but let's go Noah, come on, right. jump in. I gotta get Noah used to these big snakes so that he takes over the business one day, right? Oh, maybe. Hold on to her. I don't, I don't know where. I don't want to get in here, Noah. Get in here, Noah. I don't know where you mean. I don't know. Just hold her. Do something. This one scares me. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm the one that's right near. <laughs> get her. Get her. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ah! She's trying to come toward me. I don't want to be here right now. Okay. Where are her? I'm saying. Like, okay. Let's just guide her into the water. Here, Noah. Get the back end. Get the back end. Quick. Quick. Ooh. All right. Into the water you go, Lucy. Oh, there you go, sweetheart. You love the water. Okay, there she go. Just feed her in, Noah. I'm doing it. She loves it. Nice. Look at, she loves this water. I think it's absolutely amazing. Just look at her in there. She just absolutely loves it. <laughs> she just wants to curl up. This is gonna be really good for her. Okay, you're okay, girl. Good job. <laughs> and there you go. All me. Good job, Kelsey. That was all me. Good Without job, Noah. my uh, fishing technique. Yeah. She wouldn't be as calm yeah. as she was. Couldn't have got her in there without Noah. I'm so glad to be back saying this. Kelsey, what do we have? We have two ball python clutches today. First up is a pinstripe bread to a super vanilla pastel. Nice. Look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, I miss this so much. Oh, a nice little clutch too. What do you got here, mama? Come on. Come off those. She's got them hugs good, doesn't she? Oh, oh yeah. my god. Oh my gosh, these are nice, perfect little tiny eggs. Look at that, that's a beautiful those. clutch. Oh my gosh, we got two, four, six, seven eggs. That is so cool. And again, because it's a super vanilla, which is obviously co-dominant, means every baby is gonna at least be a vanilla. It can be a pastel and it can be a pinstripe. So that is absolutely wonderful. And again, for those of you guys that haven't been following along for a while, we'll put these in an incubator about 88 to 89 degrees. They're gonna hatch in about 60 days. All right, time to get Lucy back in her cage. Hopefully she'll be in a good mood. I think she will be. She loves a good bath. 
going to try to get a little bit of that shed off of her as we're putting her away. Like I said, she's not too bad. She's just got a little bit of loose skin that should be pretty easy to come off now. What do you think? Where are you at, girl? Where are you at? She loves the water. I mean, she never really wants to come out. That's why I know she's in a good mood when she's in the water. That's okay, sweetheart. You're doing so good. Oh, I'm so proud of her. All right, jump in, Noah. Get the back end. Yep. All right. There you go, sweetie. Again, I'll try to just get a little bit of that shed off, but she'll wipe the rest of it off here pretty quick. Oh, 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 oh. Whew! Because she's been in a bath for quite some time, so she's pretty uh, she's pretty humid right now, so that's good. And uh, just get her back in. She's too good. <laughs> she can, she started to get away a little bit. As you can see, her attitude has definitely gotten much better in the last couple weeks. And this is good because when we get her over to the reptarium and get her into a really big cage, now it's going to be much easier to handle her. I'm telling you, what, I wanted no part of having to walk inside a cage to get her <laughs> the way she was the last couple weeks. So uh, I am so excited about Lucy. We put Lucy away. We handled both our biggest snakes today and uh, cleaned their cages and you know only one bad thing happened. I got pooped on a little bit but uh, you know it's a normal day on the job just like dirty jobs you know. Next clutch is a spider bred to a pewter cypress. A pewter cypress oh my gosh that is absolutely a good one. Of course a pewter is pastel cinnamon and cypress so let's see what this one has. This is going to be a really good clutch. Oops she's, got, she's got a couple eggs outside but that's okay we'll candle those suckers up. Let me get this one for you. Watch out mama don't bite me please don't bite me. Oh gosh that was close. And then let's see what else she has here. Oh my gosh, this is a big clutch of eggs. They're all over the place. Oh my gosh, they're rolling around though. <laughs> We're definitely gonna have to candle this clutch for sure because they are all over the place. But that is an absolute, look at how many eggs that is. Ooh, doggy, that's amazing. That's two, four, six, eight, ten eggs. I mean, that's ten eggs, and that cypress gene is something that's really sought after. It's a relatively new gene. It's going to be really cool, and the fact that it's pastel, cinnamon, cypress, and spider could produce some really cool stuff. So I'll let Kelsey go ahead and candle these eggs up. We'll get these in the incubator, and that is good. As always, Kelsey, great job. Thanks. Next job is to actually set up all these babies that I brought over from the incubator into the box. And so I have to identify them, sex them, and set them up, and hopefully I'm right. Sometimes what happens is after they shed they look a little different so i got to make sure to go back after they shed and make sure i didn't make any mistakes because once they shed sometimes you're like oh my god that's got that gene in it too but when they come out of the egg they don't look quite as vibrant so let's go ahead and set all these babies up well this one is really neat Lori, take a look at this one right here what is it it's, it's, it's a like, paradox yeah something. it's like a, a mimosa paradox ghost oh wow and so that, the head is, and that is very crazy. Know, look at that. That is so cool, huh? That is cool. I, I think the coolest part is the head, to be honest with you. Know, like it's got a yeah normal looking head with the... I love this little mimosa or this little paradox splotching on this side. Yeah. That's cool, huh? Very cool. <laughs> oh, doggy. I tell you what, that thing is ridiculous. Ridiculous! I honestly don't know exactly what this is. This was a champagne bred to a lorry ball python. I've never seen a champagne or any champagne this orange before. So I'm not sure if the lorry ball is making it that way, which would be unusual because you would think it would make it darker, not lighter. But that thing is a stunner. This one is really cool here. Take a look at this. This is actually a caramel spinner. The caramel albino is recessive, and of course the spinner is a spider and a pinstripe. Mixed together, that thing is really cool. And the thing that's nice about caramels like this is it's just gonna get brighter as it gets older. Take a look at this pattern on this mimosa ball python. Oh my gosh, typically the champagnes and mimosas are almost patternless. This one has such cool, busy patterns to it. I mean, take a look at that. I love that thing. And a lot of times the Enchi influence will actually make pattern like this, but this one actually doesn't have Enchi in it at all. I'm pretty excited. I just got a new pair of shoes and you guys know that I'm a sneakerhead. I don't know, I probably have like 50 plus pair of sneakers, but I got some cool new Vans and some off-white Vans. I think they're absolutely amazing, but apparently Lori said that I shouldn't have got them. So let's go ahead and go home and see what she thinks. So these are the shoes here. I absolutely love these things, but Lori, you're saying that I shouldn't get these. Why would you say that? <laughs> they're just not you. What do you mean not me? She was saying that I'm too old, that you have to be 20 years old to have Vans. Is that true? That's not exactly what I said. I said they're not you. <laughs> no, you did not. You said that I was too old for these shoes. Yeah. Noah, what do you think? 
I mean, uh, if I side with mom, I get them. So yeah, I agree. No, <laughs> no. I mean, I, I don't know. Listen, the shoe game has changed, Laura. You can be older and have cool shoes. And look at those shoes. Those shoes are awesome. I thought you would like these ones. I like them. Shoes. I like them for me, not for you. <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense at all. It does. I'm not. <laughs> this is not your style. Stick to your sweater shoes. Oh my oh, gosh, I can't shoes. win. She <laughs> says she hates my sweater shoes, but then when I buy shoes like she seems like she likes, she says they're, they're not me and I shouldn't have them. <laughs> no. Let me know down in the comments, guys. Is Are these shoes cool? And do you think I should wear them? Or do you think Lori is right? And Noah, uh, I don't know. He's on the fence. He just wants to have them himself. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I tell you what, I absolutely love nights like tonight. It is beautiful out here. And I sure do love summer in Michigan. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. And I'm going to wish you guys an absolutely amazing day. Or whenever you happen to be watching this vlog, your guys' support means the world to me. And I really, truly love you guys so much. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that? like button leave a comment because i love reading about you guys make sure to turn those post notifications on while you're at it always be kind to someone and i promise i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>